Today we are group two. My name is Chu Meng Pai, and I have Feng Jingwen, Luo Hui En, Chang Jin Yi, and Sitaram together with me. And we'll be presenting regarding the company called The Fishbowl. So just a little background. You can see the founder Aaron Lim. He actually owns a home-based bakery. He started there, and one day he just proposed this idea to three of his childhood friend, which is Jimmy, Go, and Ching. Then, within three weeks time, they founded this shop called The Fishbowl, based in Banasangui. And now we're going to look into the past. So the first one is political. It's about how the government intervenes in the economy of the company. So the most important part is to secure the HACCP license, which is hazard analysis and critical control point. After that, then they can only apply for the halal certification. This is to attract and improve Muslim customers' confidence towards the company so that they can dine in comfortably. And the next one is about economical. Um, based on our research, the GST 6% has actually little to no impact to the company. What important here is the exchange rate between Malaysian Ringgit and Aussie dollar or USD because Right now, recently, uh, the exchange rate fluctuates quite a bit, so it actually affects how the supplier costs them for their products, like their imported salmon, imported avocado, and all those pickles ingredient. The next one we're going to talk about social cultural. It's about how consumers are becoming more health conscious. They are aware to eat healthy and have a good habit of a healthy diet. And they introduce poke bowls because it's a trending healthy packed food. And the next one is technological. And the picture there you can see the the fishbowl actually comes comes up with uh, a website. They are, they design their own website to make it like online shopping so that they can because they have a central kitchen to provide all their ingredients so they just need to go into their website and just order from there and the next day it will deliver to them next I'm going to talk about the company strengths the first one you can see they have won uh, the battle of the Pokeballs in last year they were the public's choice winner they are also featured in magazines, articles such as New Streets, Time and Time Out KL. The second strength they have is experienced stakeholders. We have uh, two ex-PWC employees, which is Jimmy and Jun Hong. So one of them is doing, uh, I mean, they manage HR. That's why in the fishbowl, he plays the role of coordinating projects so that they can open a new outlet uh, based on their timeline and he was also the superintendent for quality control. And the next one is Jun Hong. He was doing accounting and finance in PwC. So right now, he's the CFO of the company to manage the firm's finance and accounts. And the third strength they have is about quick preparation. They can easily handle 100 to 120 crowds in an hour during peak hours because it takes less than 1.5 minutes to complete one bowl. And the last strength is about brand's expansion. You can see I made a small timeline here. They grew from eight months to two months for every new outlet open. So it shows that they are increasingly fast in their brand branch expansion. Next, I'm gonna talk about the company weakness. The first one is lack of dining space comfort. They have tables and chairs cramped together to accommodate more uh, customers during peak hours, which is not very comfortable. This is because they prioritize their resources differently. More than 90 to 95% of their profits are pulled together to make, to open new outlets instead of improving their current existing outlets. Next, we're going to talk about high staff turnover rate because it's very, uh, for part-timers, it's very hard to schedule their, con I mean, to schedule their shifts because they have to focus on their studies and that, that is why they choose to employ more foreign laborers as full-timers. This is why they have inconsistent service because every two, three months they change the staff and it actually affects how 
the quality of your service. Next, I'll pass to Ram for Target Market. Okay, uh, my name is Sita Ram. Uh, I'll be presenting uh, Target Market um, product strategy and also product and service recommendation. So, first, I'll start with Target Market. Okay, uh, there are two targets of, uh, I mean, there are two groups of Target Market. Uh, one is the, uh, in between the uh, age of 16 to 23, and another one is 24 onwards, which are working adults, and 16 to 23 is, of course, students. So, um, when it comes to students, uh, their target market is switcher, and for the adults, it's splitter. So, for the switcher, uh, uh, mainly um, they're targeting for the pork ball, uh, which is just one of the healthy and trendy food which having in the recent times. And uh, which is, uh, once the trend dies, dies down, for sure the target market of the company will also change. And when we go to the second group, which is uh, working adults, um, there are split, uh, they are split and uh, over 40% or over 40 companies of employees enjoy a 10% of discount. And uh, the working adults have a limited break time uh, of to be needed for a healthy packed food, so probably is important uh, while on the go, especially for them. So, go for this next slide, which is uh, product strategy. Okay, uh, their menu, uh, they have a wide range of uh, ingredients. For example, like uh, you can pick your own base, your sauces, sides, and you can add on your premium toppings and protein. So, it's an easy customization. Uh, to be general, uh, you have a wide range of ingre ingredients and to be more specific, depends on you uh, whether you want a healthy benefits or a taste preference or you can also combine both. So let's go for the next one which is their vision is to let everyone to have a healthy food while on the go. So there are some other, uh, several companies which they are targeting only on the go but Fishbowl they're targeting for the healthy food on the go. So uh, the mission is uh, to have one of the first authentic and uh, exclusive poker restaurants among Malaysia. And they also try to introduce the Hawaiian concept of food throughout the outlets. So um, we would recommend their product and services, which is um, the first one is a halal certification. So when we see, uh, we are in Malaysia, so majority of the races, uh, majority of the religions are Muslim. So of course, you wanna, if you want to gain a better profit, of course we need to cover all the races and all the religions. So um, there are more Muslim customers, so they would also want to try out or taste the fish bowl. So we would recommend them to have a halal certificate so you know they can also cover all kinds of uh, all types of people and uh, second one is a kiosk business actually actually uh, we would recommend them to have more kiosk businesses or more kiosk uh, fish bowls uh, they have only one kiosk uh, outlets which is a pavilion and they are making it about 4.5 to 5k of profit so imagine if they have more kiosk uh, fish bowls in several shopping malls so, um, in another advantage, which is uh, to have a kiosk business, is to it's an easy startup and it's an easy management, and also you can gain uh, easy profit. So, the third delivery, which is I mean, for the third point, which is a food delivery service, which uh, we would we would recommend them to collaborate with uh, the Honest Bee, Food Panda, etc., etc., for those uh, who couldn't make it to get out of, uh, from the office or from the house to go for the restaurant. So they can just uh, have a food delivery service, they can order through the food panda and Honestbee and etc. Et so that's all from me. I will pass it to my another teammate. Hi, Synergy, the fishbowl cutter present strategy. Uh, Based pricing, the fishbowl mainly focus on selling the quantity to to increase profit for sell, to for increase increase profit increase profit to increase profit. The product the product and pricing comparison from the 
later we can see the table show us the fish bowl is using separate bowl, uh, separate bowl for dyeing because it's more practical and environmental friendly. But the paper fish is using paper bowl. This is the menu for the paper fish. Uh, the, com the price from the competitor is higher than the fish bowl. The fish bowl is changed paper to ceramic bowl. This is the the right hand side. The upstairs is the the fish bowl paper bowl changed to the ceramic bowl. The set the price energy recommendation price bunging a package set of good can attract more customer. And the man and the value menu offer more discount uh, more choice and discount price. For example, McDonald's value meal pricing, they have meal below 10 ringgit, or their value meal go large just add more ringgit 60 cents and maximum and mix and match. For example, chocolate sundae with French fries just 5 ringgit 99 cents, compared to this more cheaper than heaven has the maximum. Next, value set menu category improves sales by combining food and drinks in a set. For example, premium set, one bowl, one premium add on, and one cold juice for the December ringgit 95 cent. Original price is 31 ringgit 70 cent. The party bowl is four bowl, and two cold juice is 85 ringgit, was 93 ringgit 40 cent. And the six standard bowl is 95 ringgit, was 107 40 cent. Hi, I'm Chi Yi, and I'm going to present about the location strategy. So, in Indonesia, the fish bowl have have five outlet total currently, and then these are the location like Bandar Sanwe, Wan Utama, Pavilion, Plaza Arcadia in. There's a park city, and then the Sunway Velocity is the most latest one, just open. And then, for Banda Sunway, right, our target market, uh, mostly the population is high, high student population rate. And then, it is very strategy for the people to reach out, because they have public transit. So they have like BRT, LRT, and then shuttle service near Sunway. And then for one Utama, Pavilion Plaza Arcadia and Sunway Velocity, they are high worker population rate. So these are the pictures that show the grand opening. They have the promotion a little bit, and then they attract more customers. And then in the picture we can see right is in Banda Survey. It's a fir first poke shop in Malaysia. So the line we can see by promotion day right they start from the door. So in the chart you can see that students are 45% and then the workers are 33% and then the resident is 22%. So mostly Sunway is target students more and worker are the second. This is based on your observation or it's based on my observation. <coughs> so my recommendation for the location is in the future uh, the fishbowl can start the business in major city and popular tourist spot provided traffic. So we can have the shop in northern region like Ipoh, Penang. They can target the travelers and then the residents there. So they doesn't need to come over KL and just have the fishbowl. And then next we can have in East Coast, Kuantan. They are mostly targeted the Malay 
Malay residents there. And then the southern region is Johor Bahru. It's quite near Singapore, so they can come over and have it. Thank you. And I will pass to Lok Hi. Hi, my name is Lok Huyen. Now I'm going to present promotion strategy. For students, uh, Fishbowl will provide discount for students, uh, which is they can purchase a bowl of the Poke Bowl at 13, 13 ringgit on every 13 of the month. Then the corporate, the corporate discount, those, those, uh, those who are staff, then they can purchase two bowl at the at thirty ringgit on every thirteen of the month. Based on nasi karabu. Based on nasi karabu is the traditional food for Ramadan, so so a uh, fishbowl can fishbowl can set up their branch on east coast, then they can attract the customer on uh, they can attract the customer at their on the Ramadan. So uh, they are also provide Ishan for Chinese New Year. Then the Ishan can free delivery within Plain Valley. Okay, next. Uh, I'm going to present recommendation for promotion. The first one is hiring a part-time HR team. Uh, that's because uh, it can raise health awareness and educate health benefit for Poke Bowl. Then the next one is because uh, it can promote the Hawaiian food to local who are stra stranger to the concept, then build up social following online marketing which gradually improve sales. Then a PR team can raise the sales because they can use their own way to promote the brand. Then the next one, uh, our recommendation is set up a multi card program, um, which is build and grow existing customer and get and gather data on consumer behavior. And after that, keeping an existing customer is seven times less expensive than acquiring a new one. So how the loyalty program is work, uh, which is free to go upon reg re registers, then free one premium bowl on birthday month, then com then the loyalty program can convert every purchase amount to point. And one point is equal to 10 cents, then for future redeem, for, for future re redemption. Okay, thank you. Uh, that is all for our presentation on the fishbowl today. So do you have any questions to ask? Them? So for a brand like this, yeah. why is it I believe, we believe that the research shows that public relation is important because uh, this Hawaiian concept food is fairly new to locals in to Malaysia and all Southeast Asian countries because this is uh, a Western kind of food. It's salad, but we added a Malaysian twist because we cannot live without eating rice. That's why we have rice salad and we have a Japanese twist as well because originally it's tuna only. We add in like salmon, we add in rice, our own cultural adaptation towards the food. And we believe by appointing PR team to spread the news about this food concept, we can really, uh, it can really boost our sales by through this type of advertisement. As a company, why is it important? Other than sales? by raising 
income for them. I mean, uh, just like recently, you can see like the Milo product, they have a lot of sugar content. And we try to build health awareness and make consumers more health conscious by uh, advertise and sell more of these healthy foods. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you.